Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can know if he is the one. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the quality man you want as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you without the need to manipulate or play gimmicks or tricks in any way. Now, the question for today, how to know if he's the one, is one that I need to play a pause into first. Here's why, because I truly believe that there's not just one, the one out there for you. I believe that in this infinite universe, in this abundant world in which we live in, there might be several human beings who could be an ideal fit for who you are. It just so happens that if you are consistent, persistent, and have some grace in the way you do things, that you'll find one human being that you'll choose to spend as much time as you can to within this lifetime. Now, I say that because if you believe that there's just one, the one, then that puts so much pressure on you, so much unnecessary pain and anxiety that I, I, don't, I think you can relax in knowing that there's multiple human beings that could be a right fit for you. You will just happen to land on one and that person will land on you and choose each other consistently. Now, the first virtue value that I want you to pay close attention to if you want to find out if the person you're with, if the person who's pursuing you, if the man that you're interested in can be a lifelong partner or hold it for as long as you possibly can, is the depth of friendship you have with him. And the reason why this is so important is because you can start a dating relationship by simply connecting at the physical, superficial level, or you can start from the very beginning with figuring out how deep you can create a friendship with this man and vice versa. And if you do it that way, that thing alone will determine how sustainable, how long lasting this thing can be. Why? Because life will throw you, throw at you curveballs and shit sandwiches and multiple things that are beyond painful. And if you have that depth of friendship, then that will be the grounding space with which you can both love each other, respect each other, and help each other out, carry each other in each other's backs every now and then. The second one that I want you to focus on, but I say this second is because uh, if the first one is not there, this one doesn't matter, is chemistry, right? Because if you only have friendship and you don't have a sense of desire, chemistry, passion, excitement, butterflies in your stomach in any way, that's like having a brother or sister, right? And or a roommate that has good quality friendship with you. If you want to go beyond the roommate uh, scenario, you need to make sure that the human being who's connecting with you has a deep desire for you and that you feel desire for this human being as well. Now, one caveat for this desire and this excitement and this passion is that sometimes it takes time. It doesn't always happen the first moment your eyes meet, like crazy uh, romantic novels like to tell you. Sometimes it takes weeks, sometimes it could take months. I'm not saying that it always happens. You could easily connect with someone that you don't feel anything for, and five months later you feel nothing. I'm not suggesting that. What I am suggesting is that if you want to create chemistry and passion, that you first need to know that the person you're creating it with has some grounding space, so has some capacity for deeper connection than just that, if you want it to last a long time and stand the test of time. The third focus that I want you to have if you want to find out if the person is the one is a shared life vision. Shared life vision means that both of you have similar ideas as to what you are going for. What is life about? What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are you moving towards? What do you hate? What do you love? What do you stand for? Those things, the, the quality of life you want, the ability to imagine something and co-create it is going to be part of what enables you to stay strong and together because it's not just what's here, there's what's here and there's a force of creation that's running through you. And if you enable that force of creation to create a better life that is in alignment with what both human beings want, it's so powerful and you can get there faster many times and in a much more fun way than if you do it alone. The next part of understanding if a person can be the one for you is shared values in action. Because you can sit with any man 
in any coffee shop or any bar in this world and talk about what's ideal. What do you value? Excitement, passion, kindness, generosity, contribution. What you share you value is not necessarily the same thing as what you value. And how do you know what somebody values? The way they live, the quality of friendships they have, the way they connect with other human beings, what they put their time and energy into, their habits, good and bad, <laughs> the way they see themselves and others, the way they solve problems. So for you to know that you can be with someone for a long time, you need to know the things that are fundamentally important to you, values like respect, values like generosity, values like kindness and compassion. If those things are important to you, they need to be present in him because if they're not, some of them might be showstoppers. If you value health at the highest level and this person you're with is an alcoholic, for example, this, you're going to be suffering for a while until either he changes or you leave the relationship. That's just how it works. So understanding what values this human being has are so fundamental for you to predict how long this can last. It doesn't mean that everything has to be the same way. It doesn't mean that you both have to like the same things all the time. But think about it. The more you like things in common, the more you do things that are in unison in terms of things you value, the, the deeper chance you have to be with that human being 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, and enjoy it instead of saying, I tolerate this human being, which would be a sad way to live. And unfortunately, what lots of human beings do these days, they stand together, they stay together for a long time, but not because they love each other, because they just tolerate each other and they fear being alone. The next one is going to be the, the capacity to walk spiritually side by side with this human being. And I will resume this in a few different ways. How happy do you feel with this human being? How much of a better person do you become in this person's presence? Do you become better, more expressed, more yourself? Or do you become more shy? Do you become more restricted? Do you become less expressive? Do you become more shameful? Do you become less respected and less worthy? The way you feel about yourself and the value that you can bring to others as a direct result of the relationship speaks to this spiritual path walking, the ability to walk side by side with a human being and have each other's lives and spirits touch each other in such a way that you can evolve as a human being and leave this place better as a result of being here because of the person you were with instead of despite the person you're with. And the last one is something that many of you will hate and may, again, want to throw tomatoes at me, but the last thing you can focus on right now, if you really want to know if someone is one, is time. First week, first month, honeymoon period, Anyone can feel like the one. Stand the test of time. Do it day in, day out, month in, month out, and then make the decision. Because there's things that will emerge after the first month, after the second month, after the third month, even after the fifth month, that were not present earlier on. And if you pay close attention and things progress in a way that's powerful, then you can make that decision. You can predict, you can project, but the longer time you've known that person, the easier it will be for you to know that your hypothesis regarding who this human being is matches reality instead of being simply a projection. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. On the first link in the description of this video, I created a class that will show you how you can step into the kind of relationship you want with a lot more specificity and with more tools than I provided in this video, and it's absolutely free. All you do is click on the link, enter your first uh, name and your email, and you'll be taken to that class right away. If you like this video, click thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, if you're watching this and you understand that videos are great, but you want hand-holding, accountability, you want help, you want someone who can walk the path with you and hold you, not just accountable, but give you strategy as to how you can get much more of what you want in less time, then you can apply to work with me. Second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to connect and if we're a fit, we can end up working together to help you get what you want. Thank you so much for connecting with me today. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.